at long last. Equipment for centering drill bits and spindles for the majority of tool machines. A real time saver, micrometer accuracy, exceptional user friendliness. Vibimo is proud to present the Movidic Centering System. Position the display unit on the machine at a height at which it can be comfortably read. Connect the display unit to the electric system. Connect the probe USB connector to the display unit. Attach the adapter ring to the guide bush holder of the machine. Caution! The measurement can only be carried out on the cylindrical part of the tool and only if it is not made of non-ferrous metal. Using the machine digital control, bring the tool into the work position by moving the spindle to its theoretical reference value. Once the tool is in position, adjust the probe so that it is within a few tenths of a millimeter from the tool body. The digital readout then starts displaying values, indicating that the probe is now in its workspace. Then, position the probe on its vertical axis, parallel to that of the tool holders. Choose a readout in inches or millimeters. Choose the accuracy of the readout with the unit button. With the reset button, set the readout to zero. Manually rotate the guide bush holder by 180 degrees to permit the probe to compare the distance between the top and the bottom of the tool with respect to the exact center of the machine guide bush. The value indicated at this precise moment of the operation is twice the real centering error of the tool on its vertical axis. This value must therefore be corrected by half using machine digital control. Once this has been corrected by half, check that this value is actually the same at the beginning and end of the 180 degrees. Now that the vertical axis has been centered, move the probe by 90 degrees in order to check the centering of the horizontal axis. The value given now is the real error value. Use this value to reposition along the horizontal axis, either manually or with the machine digital control. To finish, check that the sensing device does not vary by more than a minimum along the probe's 180 degree travel. Withdraw the spindle and bring the next one forward. Repeat the above operation and that's all there is to it. Assemble the corresponding ring on the counter headstock Ensure that a few millimeters of material is visible through the guide bush. Bring the counter headstock into the work position in accordance with its reference, carefully moving as close as possible towards the guide bush. Once the counter headstock is in position, adjust the probe so that it is within a few tenths of a millimeter from the material. The digital readout then starts displaying values indicating that the probe is now in its workspace. Manually rotate the counter headstock spindle by 180 degrees to permit the probe to compare the distance between the top and the bottom of the material with respect to the exact center of the machine guide bush. The value indicated at this precise moment of the operation is twice the real centering error of the counter headstock on its vertical axis. This value must therefore be corrected by half using the machine digital control. Once this has been corrected, check that this value is actually the same at the beginning and the end of the 180 degrees. Now that the vertical axis has been centered, move the probe by 90 degrees in order to check the centering of the horizontal axis. The value given now is the real error value. Use this value to reposition along the horizontal axis, either manually or with digital control. To finish, check that the sensing device does not vary by more than a minimum along the probe's 180 degree travel. Once the counter headstock is perfectly centered with respect to the guide bush, move it to the counter operation position and repeat the centering principle as for the centering of a drill spin, except that for the vertical axis it is the counter headstock axis that is moved and for the horizontal axis, for most cases, it is a mechanical axis.